welcome all of you to an evening session here in New Zealand and a morning session if you're somewhere else or an afternoon session if you're somewhere else else. This is a meeting for you to see whether what you have in your mind doing something for yourself, taking charge of your life, your career is really the right way. And we have a fabulous group of people here today to talk to you about how easy it is for you to be able to change your future, to be someone different in a few years, and to do all of that because you attended the Massey MBA, the longest running MBA in the country since 1970 something. New Zealand and MBA means Massey MBA. The people here today are Mandy Welsh, we have Ditha Sisha, we have Rebecca Buchanan, we have Connie in the background, and we have, even most importantly, uh, Akash, who is a student who I just kind of saw a couple hours ago in class, and he would have, I guess, would have been in a class where 16, 17 guest speakers cycled through in a couple of weeks, and, and he had fabulous networking coming into the country and immediately being exposed to leaders to people who make the future happen in New Zealand and him being able to connect to that. So I would like you all to enjoy this session. It is about you doing what you really want to do and we will help you with that. And one of the key people who will help you with that is Mandy. And Mandy will tell you how this works. Hi everyone, welcome. It's lovely to see you this evening here in New Zealand. Um, and we hope at some stage that we actually see you face to face here when you decide to join us. This is the MBA experience. These are the, some of the things that you are going to experience if you come and join us. That photo is actually our current full time, some of our current full time class members. So you can see they have a dang good time while they're here with us as well. It's not all work, work, work. We enjoy spending time with them and making them laugh. So flexibility is really important for us. The learning style is really important for us. Learning, it's more like being at work. We're going to challenge you to make those work-type decisions while you're studying with us and developing knowledge um, about New Zealand businesses, but also globally. Networking, you're not just going to network with your classmates and the um, practitioner academics. They're people who work in the industry who are going to be teaching you, but also with business leaders and with people who um, work in the market um, so that you can understand what that's like. And of course, we've got globally recognized qualifications. So these qualifications here are all part of growing your toolkit. So you are going to need a toolkit as you start progressing in your career, and we're going to deliver that to you. And we're going to open your eyes to the new possibilities of new jobs, new opportunities as you work through with us, because most of you are specialists. And we're going to create the atmosphere where you're going to become a generalist, where you can move up in your career to those higher level jobs that you're now looking for. All right, on the next one, Connie. <clears throat> so these are some of the things that you're going to get from us. So capability is just being able to know more things. You're going to learn a lot from us uh, and from each other, by the way. Uh, capability is just you're going to be able to just try more, do more. Confidence, obviously, you're just going to be able to go out there and give it a go because you're going to have been challenged during this program. And when you're finished, you're going to think, look, if I can do this, I can do anything. And that's what we, but you're in a supported environment while you're going through the program. So you don't need to worry about that either. Connections, we are going to put you in front of people that you wouldn't meet otherwise. So business leaders, people who run their own company, we're going to take you on a little tour and uh, encourage you to connect really well with the people you are learning with, with people from other cohorts, and also from business people in the environment that you're in. And the courage is all about just you have this overall confidence and courage to go out and try something new. All right, on the next one, please. So these are the promises that we make to you. These are the competencies that you are going to gain. And with strategic thinking, it's all about you're going to need to exhibit thought leadership. We're going, you're going to be able to push boundaries and challenge assumptions with confidence. With leading with integrity, you're going to be able to de de demonstrate a well-developed leadership capability. Problem solving is the mastery of their analytic capabilities. 
technology savviness, you need to be able to evaluate and understand the evolving application of technology within business and in management. And so if you can grasp some of these things, you're going to be able to move forward with your career. And the cultural competence is all around embracing and demonstrating a global mindset and the behaviours that go around that. Because we're very multicultural here in New Zealand, so you need to be able to deal with lots of different cultures and lots of different styles of um, communication. And we're going to help you with that as well. This one is all about the quality stamp. So AACSB is an accreditation, an American elite school accreditation. And AMBA is the Association of MBAs. Now, the, M the Association of MBAs worldwide, um, there are thousands of organized uh, universities that belong to that. AACSB is renowned in the USA in particular. So that gives you options. People may not know who Massey is, but they know these two accreditations and they know they are quality. So we are ranked by QS. We draw our staff from schools within the university and for communication, top 100 in the world for accounting and finance top 200 and for business management is in the top 300. So you can be assured that those lecturers that are coming to talk to you um, come from really robust organ you know, part of our organisation. But more importantly, they've actually worked in the industry. So they'll be able to help you to apply that knowledge. It's not just about the theory. It's about how you actually go back to work and do that. Our CEO magazine have us in the top tier and our online MBA is number 17 in the world. Shanghai rankings, we're the top master, um, sorry, business administration in New Zealand. So again, you know that we have some quality behind us. Right, on the next one, I'm just going to actually quickly talk to you about what we offer. For the MBA, and we offer the executive MBA or EMBA. The MBA is one program, but it's taught two different ways. One is full-time, where you come and join us for a year, and the other is online. And you, that gives you lots of flexibility you can take from 18 months up to five years to do that. The full-time program is the one we're going to concentrate on today, though we will talk a little bit about the online. It's really immersive. It's concentrated learning. It's taught here in, uh, in Auckland, which is the largest city in New Zealand. Um, and you only come into class on a Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday in the afternoon between three and seven. And each course is only seven weeks long, and you do two at a time if you do full time. So it is, it's really busy. And Akisha is going to tell you about how busy it is, but how stimulating it is. It's stimulating learning. It's not boring, you know, chalk and talk, you know. It's all about engaging you and involving you in what you're going to learn. The online is available 24-7. So it's not recorded courses. It is, it's interactive. It's on a world-class platform. It's really fun. And you can actually progress while you're working full-time as you're doing that online content. So it's really engaging, it's really interesting, and it's self-paced. The EMBA, the Executive MBA, is a longer program. You need more experience to come on it. It takes you two years to complete it, or just under two years to complete it. It is available to international students from 2023, um, but you need seven years of work experience, and at least three of those need to be in management. We do, um, most of our full, uh, international students come on to our full-time MBA because it's quick, one year, bang, done. And you've got all the learning that you need and it's really high powered. The executive MBA, we're expecting you to be working while you're doing it, but you can only work part-time on a student visa and it's on it's weekend learning. So it's quite different. If you're interested, you just need to talk to us, but we're mainly going to talk about the MBA. Now that's me. I'm going to hand over to my lovely colleague Diffa and she's going to talk to you about the specifics of the program. Thank you, Mandy. Hi, everyone. It's so lovely to see you all. And I'm so glad you could all join us this evening or morning or afternoon, <laughs> wherever you are. Um, so like Mandy said, I'm going to talk to you about the MBA program. And is this program really right for you? So if you're someone who's looking to take the next step in your career to be able to make those really big decisions for your own company or for the organization that you're working for, then the MBA is right for you. And that's really because it gives you that courage, the confidence and the knowledge to be able to make a well-informed and a long-term decision that can help your career, help you in your personal life, as well as help your organization and the organization that you're working for. 
So if you're looking to go into senior manager or general manager roles, even to be on a board to make those crucial decisions or to be an entrepreneur, then the MBA is right for you. And let's look at the next slide where we talk a little bit about who's going to be in the class with you. So looking at our previous cohort and our current cohorts, we have about 20 to 35 students in the class with you. We've got almost an equal split of men and women in class. We've got an average age of 37, but that ranges from 23 uh, years old to 56. So there's no limit to learning here at the MBA, Massey MBA. And you've got an excellent work experience, an average work experience of 11 years. And again, that ranges from the minimum requirement of three years, and it goes up to about 25 years of work experience. And we've got some fabulous diversity in our class. Now, not only diversity in terms of culture, as you can see, there's so many different countries and people from, from all over the world that join us to do their MBA with us. But we've also got diversity in terms of understanding, backgrounds, education, and work experience that really enriches the discussions that you have in your classroom. And that's really because the MBA is learning not only from your lecturers or academics, like we like to call them, which is practicing academics, but it's also learning from your peers. In addition to that, we also have guest speakers like Mandy and Professor Jens mentioned. We have guest speakers coming in to share their insights. So they've been where you are currently or where you want to be. And they're here to share their journey with you, to give you an idea of how you can get to where you want to be. And that's through the MBA program. Now, before we go into the details of the courses, we've got some excellent statistics on this slide that you can see there that I would like to share with you. And this is the return on investments from our current and our alumni MBA students. We've got 62% of our students who've improved their roles while studying their MBA. So they've, gone, they've got a promotion in their job or they've gone to a role that they really desired and they've dreamt of. Um, we've got 23% who've moved into senior management roles and 46% who've moved into managerial roles. Again, right after or while doing their MBA. And we've got 20% who started or expanded their businesses again while studying or right after the MBA. So some excellent return of investments and we hope to see you will add to those wonderful numbers for us in the future. So just gonna go on to the next slide where we're talking about the courses that you need to do as part of this program. So you've got 10 courses in total that you need to do to complete the MBA successfully. And of course, you've got your core courses, which makes up the generalist nature of the program where you understand the different business areas. And then we're the only MBA in New Zealand that gives you the opportunity to specialize in this generalist uh, program as well. And as a full-time or in-person student, you will, your options will be global business or business sustainability. And as a fully online student, your options would be global business or digital transformation. So that makes up part one of the program. And through this program, you will get to meet and grow your network, not only with the students who are studying with you, but with the people that we bring in from the market, the market experts that we bring in to share their insights with you. So it really adds to what you're learning in terms of the content, the knowledge, and understanding the New Zealand market as well as the global market. You then go into part two of the program where you really get your hands dirty. We give you the opportunity to apply all of the learnings from your part one courses into real world business problems. And that's really through interacting with case studies, with reports that you get from the companies in New Zealand or in the world, and really understanding where they are and where they should be based on the knowledge that you've got from your first, first eight courses. And then you go into your work experience course. So this is really where your CV gets all its value with your New Zealand experience. You get an opportunity to connect with an organization, work with them in the organization, really understand New Zealand culture, the way organizations work, the way people think and function in this market. 
and then you give them your recommendations based on all of these skills and knowledge that you've got. So this makes up the 10 courses that you do. At every stage, we give you the opportunity to grow your network, to meet with people from the New Zealand market as well as the global market. So on the next slide, I know Mandy has spoken to you a little bit about the different modes that we have on offer today. Just going to go a little bit deeper into that. So today, we're going to start off by talking about the full-time MBA, which is the one-year program, fully in-person. And you have classes on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 3 to 7 p.m., which gives you from Friday to Monday to do your readings as well as to get those 20 hours of work that you get on your student visa. So it really gives you the opportunity to focus on what you have right then and then to move on to the next task and focus there as well. With the full-time MBA, again, because you're here in person, you get the opportunity to meet with different people. You get the opportunity to go into an organization and do that last work experience course. And you get the opportunity to meet with different companies and organizations from different industries. Again, like thanks to Mandy, we saw the range of industries that you come from. And with that course and through the MBA, you get to interact with these different industries to understand the differences, as well as to grow and strengthen your own knowledge about your own industry. We have three intakes a year, March, July, and November. So we've got that upcoming intake in March, 2023. So I'm just going to move on to the next mode, which is our MBA online. Now, this is a fully online MBA program. You do not need to be in New Zealand to complete this program. It's done completely online. All you need is a device to be able to connect to the content as well as to your Zoom sessions. It's extremely flexible and it gives you the opportunity to work full time while you're studying part time. You have, again, like Mandy said, you've got excellent interactive technology that you can pick up the knowledge and the skills and the content that you can get from each of the courses as you journey through the MBA. But while we're all here talking, we also have a, a relay, a high emphasis on feedback. We constantly ask our students what, how their journey has been and what they've experienced through this journey. And on the next slide, we've just taken a little bit of their feedback to share with you, and they've been kind enough to allow us to share this with you. I'm just going to give you a moment here to read some of the testimonials from our alumni. So as you can see, some excellent feedback and some excellent journeys that we've witnessed through our MBA program. And students have really been through the program and got the most of it. We've got some excellent people coming in with really good careers and the growth that we see, we're extremely proud of all of our students and the investment that they've made. Speaking of investment, we're gonna talk a little bit about the investment that you are gonna make in your future. With the full-time MBA, that's the one-year MBA program, your, uh, the um, investment you make will be 56300 New Zealand dollars. Now, this is all-inclusive. This includes your non-tuition fees, your insurance that you need to pay for the one year that is mandatory, and the study materials. So all of the e-books and the, the articles are all provided to you. So that amount that you see there is what you pay for the full year of investment. And like Mandy said, your, your salaries give you that return on investment almost immediately as, you, as you've completed the program. With the fully online MBA, it is 48,800. And that's for the two-year part-time online MBA. Now, while you are making the investment in your future, we make the investment in your future as well. And that is through the MBA awards. And on the next slide, you can see that we've got um, three awards that we give out that is assessed automatically at the time of your application. There's no additional application required for these awards. They're of $2,000 each. 
and one for a high GPA in your bachelor's, one if you've got a previous master's, and one if you've got five plus years of work experience. And they're accumulative, which means that you can get up to $6,000 adjusted against your fees. And we continue to invest in your uh, invest in your future throughout the program. And that's with the Professor Jens Mueller Outstanding Full-Time Student Prize of $2,000 for the best class engagement, because we really want you to get into those discussions in class to get the most out of it. We've also got the Wiley Outstanding Online Student Prize that's given for excellence in academic performance. Now, talking about excellent class engagement and engagement in, in, in general, we've got one of our students here, Akash, who has been kind enough to join us so late on a, a, on a school night. Um, and uh, thank you so much for being here this evening, Akash. Over to you. Oh, my pleasure, Zita. I think Jens was a little kind to tell that it's evening here. Uh, the smile on my face and the excited, ex my excitement in my tone should tell you all uh, how happy I am that I've chosen Massey and uh, New Zealand for my MBA. Uh, I remember I was right where you all were. Uh, I had the options. I really wanted to go to an English speaking country because I felt communication was my strength. So I was looking at uh, USA, UK, Australia and New Zealand. Uh, no offense to Canada. For some reason, I left that out. But uh, these were the options I was considering. And so I was going through uh, the YouTube bloggers, you know, YouTube was a thing back then and people spoke so highly about New Zealand and people spoke so highly about Massey. Uh, there was so much of intense involvement in every video which I saw, which really captivated me. I was like, why is everybody who is going to New Zealand becoming a marketer? Uh, you know, they just start marketing just like me. <laughs> it's, it's amazing how uh, we just fall in love with uh, this country and uh, that's how my journey began uh, but uh, to tell all of you the support I received from Massey uh, be it Ditta or Jens has been immense I got a part-time job I, I'm settled in already one more bit uh, what I want to cover is after I, I came here uh, I think in less than two weeks I've met at least 10 people uh, as guest speakers from the market, you would not believe it. It's a direct one-on-one. -on -one. And even after the guest uh, section, guest, uh, guest speaker session, we get to send them emails. We get to interact with them. So it's direct, uh, direct exposure to the market here. So they, you get an understanding of the market. And also Jens asked this very uh, sweet question as to, so we have our MBA students here who are looking into getting into uh, the market. What is your personal skill which you're looking at? So we exactly know what is required to put ourselves there. And uh, so that is it. Thank you, Akash. That was wonderful. Very well said. Thank you. Um, for now, we're just going to move on. We've got Professor Jens Mueller here, who is one of our pracademics. Uh, Professor Jens Mueller teaches on the MBA, the Global Business Specialization, as well as the Work Experience course. Thank you so much for being here, Jens. Over to you. Well, thank you very much, Ditha, and thank you, Akash. This is a very hard act to follow. Look, there are really two reasons why people consider studying outside their country. And all of you are outside New Zealand. So you're looking at New Zealand as an option. And the first choice is that you want to learn something that's different than what you could get at home, that gets you a qualification that makes you stand out. And you want to return back home to then work there. That's probably a minor portion of our students because when you spend a lot of money to come to New Zealand, it's not cheap to travel, it's not cheap to study in New Zealand and then live here. Most people want to take it one step further and they want to then have a chance to reside, get residence, live in New Zealand and make this their country of home. And New Zealand is one of the very few countries among the UK, Ireland, Canada, Australia, the US, where it is relatively easy to get into the country as a resident. We have a system where we prefer students who have a master's qualification. You will need six points in the future to get residence. 
the master's degree give you, gives you five points out of the six. And the one last point you get with one year of work. Where do you find a country where you can do the studies one year, during which time, like Akash said, you meet fabulous CEOs, you meet leaders of companies, they come into your classroom, they network with you, they invite you to be part of their LinkedIn, they give you a stepping stone, a helping hand to get involved in business. And then after one year of study, you can apply for residence. That does not work anywhere else. And the reason why it is so easy to shift to New Zealand and not just work and study, but become a resident is that New Zealand has a very low unemployment, just about 3%. That means we are screaming out for people. We are thousands of people short that we need to staff our companies, our export businesses. New Zealand is a quite wealthy country, two little rocks in the middle of the South Pacific next to 50 million penguins in the Antarctic. We are the last place that planes fly to before they return back home. But it is like a Switzerland in the South Pacific. It is a first world country. The hospitals are superb. The schools are world-class. It's safe. It's comfortable. The food is good. You can eat anything that grows anywhere. We have no smog. We have no pollution. It's beautiful. And because it's so beautiful, it attracts good people who want to make a home in New Zealand, a country that is English speaking, has the British education system and your children will have a fabulous time and a great education here. And remember, if you are a resident and you have a child in New Zealand, it becomes a citizen automatically. It's a very clever thing. After you have residence and you become a citizen in New Zealand, you can also choose to go to Australia. No restrictions. Once you're a New Zealand citizen, you can live, work, own property in Australia. You get two countries for the price of one. But we would like you to stay in New Zealand because we need you. We need people who come with a broad education. So let me just walk you through why you pick the MBA over a specialty master's. And all of you, most of you have an undergraduate degree in something, in analytics, in building and architecture, in accounting and finance and health, in teaching. And your parents probably told you and your friends told you if you have a bachelor in IT, you must have a master's in IT. Well, if you become so specialized that you only know one thing to do, you have limited your job choices dramatically because now you must find a job in IT. But in New Zealand, 96% of companies are companies with fewer than 25 employees. They pay good salaries. They live very well. But in small companies, everyone does more than one thing. So being super specialized reduces your job chances. So if you want a broad range of jobs available that you can choose from, you do an MBA, which is a generalist degree. It adds onto your specialist degree with a broad choice of jobs. And now you can go into pretty much any company at any level. And New Zealand supports that because when you finished your MBA, you will get a three-year open work visa. Open work visas are gold. You can work anywhere you want. You can change your job. You can run your own business. You cannot work. You can do anything you like. And if during those three years you get a skilled job, and I expect that our MBA students, before they even finish studying, have such a skilled job offer. If you have a skilled job for one year, then you will be able to apply for residence. One year study, one year work, apply for residence. That makes New Zealand a very attractive country, and it makes Massey your pathway into that residence, because ultimately what we do is we put you into Auckland, the biggest city in New Zealand, where 40% of all of the jobs are. And what you then will find is that you end up with an opportunity to very quickly connect to employers, to find a job in which you can work 
and one year of that skilled job and you apply for residence. We take this pathway for you coming to New Zealand seriously. We're the only MBA program that has a licensed immigration advisor on staff and we will tell you what your best pathway is to come to New Zealand, not just to study, you can do this in many countries, not just to work, you can also do that in many countries, but to get residence very, very quickly. And on that happy note, I will turn it back to Mandy. Right. Some of you in the chat have been asking about support, I noticed. And, uh, and so I can let you know that we are full of support. If you are worried about the journey that you're going to take with us, you look, you don't need to be. Because not only are there dedicated people in our unit, uh, the MBA office, to help you, there are many people um, throughout the university. And I'm just going to talk to you about three. So the first one is the mental gym. That's on the right-hand side, MBA office, mental gym. And that's an opportunity for you to engage with us. We, we prepare you for study before you start. And it's also a try before you buy opportunity. You can actually come in 45 minutes. Um, it's in an evening here in New Zealand. And we talk about a topic or we talk about scholarships and how you apply for them. Or we talk about how to get ready to learn. The next one is next Tuesday. It's uh, with Jens, Professor Jens, uh, and it's on the strategy of business. Um, and at the very end of this, we're going to give you a resource document and it will have the details in it then. It's, it costs you nothing to come and spend 45 minutes with us. Okay. The next one is the Center of Learning Success. They have thousands of resources, um, especially for those who haven't studied in a little while. It's lovely to come back and, and refresh some of the things that you might need. But one of the great things that they have is they have a pre-reading service. So you can do your assessments, you can pop it in with them, they will critique it and they'll send it back to you. And then you can make the changes and then you put it in for a grade. And so that way you get a feel for what gets you a grade and what doesn't. And the other one that I want to draw to your attention is the Career Accelerator. That is um, where we are going to push you to get you ready for that next role that you are looking for. Uh, we do things along the lines of online presence, upskilling for executive interviews, and we will get you ready for work in the New Zealand market. Um, we have interview, all kinds of interview skills, and there are lots of online um, resources that you can use but all the rest are here we have a great library there's a picture there that's a picture of our um, lovely campus uh, health and counseling we have career support IT for those that are phobic about you know uh, numbers there's math and excel refresher um, and we will just keep in contact with you any problem you have you need to get in touch with us sooner rather than later and then we can help you with that all right we're nearly done Next slide, please. This is how you decide that you can join us. That is a picture of some of our online students at graduation last weekend or the week before, uh, just recently. Um, and they were so thrilled. And that is the Massey mascot, if you didn't know what that was in the middle. That isn't one of our students. That is um, <laughs> a ram, uh, which is the Massey mascot. All right, so if you would like to join us, the, the documents that we need, your CV, um, you need to list your work experience on there. We need your transcripts and we need an application statement or video. It's not hard. You have all of that material already. You can do it online. You can email um, massey.ac.nz. You can go online and have a look at that web address and that will take you to where you can apply. You know, the things that you need to know is that if we accept you into the study, we know that you can be successful in this study. And so the hardest thing that many of our students say is taking that very first step, the very first step to put in that application to see. It costs nothing for you to make the application. There's no fee up front to make the application. We will then tell you whether we're going to accept you or not, and then the process starts. Now I'm just going to hand it over to Professor Jens for the formal close this evening, please. Well, Kia ora, and thank you very much for joining. You are only here because there is a little voice in your head 
They may be a partner that's a bigger voice behind your back and kind of beating it with a stick saying, we need to do better things for ourselves and for the family. And better things nearly always go with taking charge of your life, taking what you have done so far in education, in practice, in accomplishment, and trading that up so that you now become a master's graduate and someone who can get residents in New Zealand working, contributing, and creating a new life for the family. We invite you to consider Massey for that. We are very experienced. We have many, many international students, and we've had them for decades, and we want to help you establish yourself in New Zealand. Thank you for coming on board. Thank you to the team, Mandy, Rebecca, Ditha, and Connie behind the scene. Thank you, Akash for taking time out. You're studying today. You will study again tomorrow and you're here at night. So you need a good night's sleep. But thank you all for coming, making a contribution. Do connect with us, ask your questions and make a decision. Is this a chance for a better life for you? Good night and goodbye.